here now, uh, after we have prepared the labels of the practice as instructed by the list, uh, we have checked the parts if they are working properly, we have calibrated them. Uh, the next step is to follow the instructions according to three hours instruction, which will come the very day the examination is done. Right now, we are going to display the apparatus and instruments as instructed by the three hours instructions. Uh, I shall start displaying the apparatus and instruments on mechanics. Now I'm going to display uh, the apparatus according to three hours instructions on mechanics. Here is the retro stand. Here is the pendulum bulb. Here is the thread. Here is the met meter rule. Here is the meter rule. Here is the digital stopwatch. And I think the parts required to be prepared here, I think we have the parts is complete. Then the next set there should be at reasonable distance from one to the next set. Stop watches. The threads. rubber cocks the meta rules then I'm done with the sets of mechanics according to three hours instructions then next year uh, I will set the apparatus for light This will be placed in between the soft board and the glass block. The soft board and the glass blocks. The sh sheets of Papers for light. Need to have the optical pins, which are about four, according to the three hours instructions four optical pins each each set then after I need to uh, include the thumb pins about uh, for each set, these are the thumb pins for light experiment.
about four. And then students will be required to come with, of course, the protector and uh, the ruler. After setting, as you can see, the alternating in order to minimize communication from one student to another. That's why we alternate instead of setting the same. Uh, the next is to set the apparatus for heat, again, according to three hours instructions. Uh, we need to have the calorimeters. Yeah, after displaying the apparatus for mechanics and light as instructed by the three hours instructions, the next step is to switch to the next question, which is uh, uh, heat and the heat sets will be set in another bench. Here with me are the calorimeters. I have another one. Of course, the number of uh, the sets will depend on the number of candidates. This is the calorimeter, which is complete set. The lead, the steerer, uh, the jacket, which is actually the outside case, the calorimeter, which is the inner part, and the, the lodging material. This is a complete set of a thermometer. I mean, a, it's a complete set of calorimeter. Here are the thermometers. Thermometers. Right now, I'm going to label uh, the container containing liquid A as instructed by the three hours instructions. Remember, I already have the labels with me and I've decided to uh, have two containers which will be labeled as per instructions. Here is the tap. I'm going to use the tap uh, to make these labels and stick them on the side of the container on which the liquid is going to be contained. Yeah, now in these two containers, the liquid instructed according to three hour instruction will be poured in. And then after, I have to prepare a source of heat. We have alternative sources of heat. One can be this gas stove. One can be the heater. One may use the water bath, electrical water bath. They are both used as a source of heat. Uh, once the liquid is heated, students will be uh, there to take the amount uh, required by each candidate as instructed in the examination. After preparing uh, the liquid and the containers and labeling, the next thing is to prepare the source of heat, sources of heat. Uh, one of the source of heat one may use is the gas stove, the electrical heater, you can use kerosene stoves, you can use charcoal stoves, you can use uh, Bunsen burners, just few to mention. Yeah, something very important here I should note is that this uh, source of heat may be shared. You can heat a huge amount of uh, liquid A so that all the candidates see, comes here to take the amount one requires as per instruction of the exam. Uh, after I have completed preparing the sets for uh, heat, 
or the CES4 heat experiment. The next is to prepare the CES4 current electricity as per three hour instructions. Uh, I'll start with uh, the meter bridges. One of them is here. Another meter bridge is here. Another meter bridge is here. Then I need to have connecting wires, five connecting wires each set. Then after, I need to prepare galvanometers. Here is one of the galvanometer required. Here another galvanometer which are well checked if they're working. The last galvanometer right here. Next, uh, the standard resistors, which have to be labeled according to three hours instructions. And these resistors, according to three hours instructions, have to be labeled R each. And here, I'm going to label them as instructed. before displaying them. That is resistor R. We are using the tap. That's also resistor R. That's also resistor R. And after I'm done with the uh, labeling, then I display in each set as instructed by the three hours instructions. Then next, I have to display the resistance wires, which uh, were already prepared. This is uh, a uh, Constantine. SWG 30, label D W. Here are the labels. And I have to label them as instructed by the three hours instructions. This is one of the wire, say wire W. Another wire W. The number of wires 
prepared and their labels will depend on the number of the candidates. And after I have labeled them, then I have to display on each set. This should be as fast as possible because it is just very short time. And then after I have to display the standard, I mean the switches. The switches have their labels. The switches are labeled K. And I can use again the same. The tap. This is the switch label decay. Another switch label decay. After I have labeled them properly. Next step is to display again on each set. The next is the source of EMF. The source of EMF. According to three hours instruction, each set should have one dry cell, label D E. Label D E. This will be the labeling. After I've labeled them, next is to display the sum on each set as instructed. And maybe something which you need to note one may use the masking tape to do the same, or you can use the this kind of tap. They are both uh, used. Uh, next is to display the jockeys. One here, the other there, and the last is there. After having displayed them all, uh, it's wise and advisable to go through each of the apparatus and sets if really they are still in their good conditions, if they are really working, uh, in order to be certain that they are ready for being used by students. The next step is uh, the so-called checkup and uh, to check actually if really all the instruments are uh, being displayed, it depends on the number of items. And I'll just go set by set to see if they are all there. I'll start again from mechanics. Yeah, now I'm checking uh, if those apparatus listed according to three hour instructions are there. They are all here and they are perfect. I'm counting on the number of uh, optical pins. They're here. Glass block are there, complete. Uh, here the stopwatch is working, is good. Everything's here, but I see that the pendulum bulb is not proper. Doesn't have a hook, so I have to replace. And I've pressed the best one. Here it is, everything's there. Uh, here I count the number of optical pins, thumb pins. I see they're all okay. Similarly, here the stopwatch is good pads and the thread, everything is okay. Uh, here, optical pins, thumb pins, glass block, everything is okay. A set of, set for heat, thermometer is in good condition. Uh, calorimeter set is complete. Here, 
the resistance wire connected wires source of emf galvanometer which is working yeah everything's okay same applies for heat everything's okay uh, that for current electricity switch everything is just okay the terminals are intact next is uh, the set for heat is okay and lastly the set for heat connect wires nice switch everything is intact and maybe at last one may uh, still check especially those uh, devices or instruments in currents because they are very sensitive if they are really working example galvanometers you can recheck before uh, you leave for the students. Yeah. Right. After I'm certain that all the apparatus and instruments are well displayed, they are all functioning to the best of my level, uh, I'm going to handle the lab and the apparatus to the examination jubilator, and I'm going to my preparation room where I'll be there for any emergence. Thanks a lot.